Meanwhile, in a historic moment, the Central American nation of Honduras has now sworn in its very first female president, Xiomara Castro. And this comes amidst growing political rebellion in her leftist liberal party that has challenged her authority even before her inauguration. The Castro was sworn in on Thursday during a ceremony in the capital city where thousands of supporters gathered in the arena to cheer for the leader. Nishimara Castro is the leader of the left-wing Liberal Party and, and won the 28th of November election by a very significant margin. Speaking at the inauguration ceremony, Castro made a reference to the leadership dispute in the newly elected Congress. Now, Castro has also promised to fight corruption and inequality in the country and has said that she will ensure that corruption is stamped out during her tenure. The Castro's inauguration has come at a time when Honduras has been embroiled in a bit of a dispute regarding who will lead the newly elected Congress. The lawmakers from Castro's own Liberal Party had backed one of their own to be the new legislative body's president rather than support Castro's choice. This had resulted in a long dragged standoff that has threatened political stability in the country. High unemployment rate, persistent violence, troubled healthcare system and educational system are some of the immediate challenges that avail Shimara Castro. Meanwhile, U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris has been tasked by President Joe Biden to lead the U.S. policy in Central America's northern triangle of countries, was also at the event. Now, Castro's husband, Manuel Zelaya, ruled the country from 2006 until 2009, when he was eventually ousted by a coup. She ran for office twice in the years following her husband's ouster before her victory in the elections last November. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.